so it is pumpkin season we just got done thanksgiving and halloween here in canada thanksgiving still coming up in the u.s so it's pumpkin season so every year after Halloween, Tony puts out a call over social media looking for pumpkins people have not carved. Lots of times people won't carve their jack-o'-lanterns, they'll keep, keep their pumpkins intact and use them as display, use them for decoration or whatever it is. And then what do they do after Halloween? They don't know what to do with their pumpkins. So Tony puts out a call and uh, we end up with a whole bunch of free intact pumpkins. And as you know, pumpkin is chock full of fiber vitamins, nutrients, and you can do a thousand things with pumpkin. They're not just for making pumpkin pies. There are so many different things we can do with it. And I'm gonna do another video series a little bit later on, um, once I'm done processing these pumpkins, about five things you can do with pumpkin, not just your pumpkin pie. So I'm really excited about that. So Tony put out a call on social media. We got, oh my gosh, 11 free pumpkins. This is actually one of the smaller ones. And uh, what we do is, I'll show you how I'm gonna process them, is I'm gonna cut them up, blanch them, and then I freeze them. And I use them throughout the year for different things like muffins, soups, stews. I use them as a side dish. There's so many things to get like you can do with pumpkin. So here's what we're gonna start with. First of all, you take your pumpkin. I want you to wash the outside. Just give it a really good wipe down because you wanna get all the excess dirt and all those other things that could be on the outside of your pumpkin from transport, from being at the store, from being outside all of that stuff. So you want to start with a very clean, nice, sweet pumpkin. Next, and this can be a little harder with the larger pumpkins sometimes, I want you to take a sharp knife. Be very careful because they're very rolly. I'm going to get you to cut the ends off the pumpkin. So we're going to cut, of course, the stem end. There we go. And then the back end off of your pumpkin. It's just gonna make it a little bit easier to um, cut it in half and take out the innards, because as you can guess, pumpkins are quite rolly. So there we go, I've cut those pieces off and make, it gives it a good stability factor. What I do next before I take out the innards is I actually cut it in half again. I'm gonna cut it in half. break that apart. You can see all these wonderful seeds inside this pumpkin. I will be keeping all of these pumpkin seeds and I will roast them because they are a fantastic snack. And again, so full of fiber and nutrition. So I'm going to scoop this all out. There we go. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to grab a bowl instead of having that escape on me. And my handy dandy spoon. I'm just gonna scoop this all out of here. You can break that flesh off, totally cool. Now we have chickens and ducks as well and they love pumpkin. Pumpkin is definitely a favorite for animals and for wildlife. Scoop that all out of there. These are so rolly. There we go. Catch those last few seeds because they're, see, they're dodging my spoon. Okay. Set my utensils behind. Scoop up the rest of these seeds. And I'm just gonna show you with this half and I will continue on with the rest of the pumpkins, this part. I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do with each of them and give you an idea of this process because it's very, very simple. Okay, next I'm gonna cut it again, our hollowed out pumpkin. And here's where you kind of cut it like you would cut, um, like you would cut watermelon. Let's cut it into slices now. Carefully cut it into slices. Okay, I'm going to continue doing that with the rest of the pumpkin. Now, I'm going to take my smaller knife. I'm going to start cutting it 
into smaller cubes. Okay, and here's where you're gonna end up peeling your pumpkin. Peel off all that orange skin on there. All of that pumpkin shell. Carefully peel it off. Now some pumpkins, because they have thicker flesh, it can be a lot harder to peel this. You gotta be really, really, really careful. There we go. Okay, so I've taken the flesh off of this piece of pumpkin. And I'm gonna cut it into cubes now. Cubes that are about mm, an inch, inch and a half by an inch and a half. Those nice little cubes. I'm gonna put them in a pot. Now once I'm done coring and cubing my pumpkins, I'll show you guys what I'm gonna do next with them. Because that's when the blanching process will start. So that lovely pumpkin that we just cut up, I put it into a pot. I put the pot about three quarter full of the pumpkin and I put water in it just so that it was just even with the top of the pumpkin. Put it into, onto my stove top and now I'm going to blanch it. So boil it for five minutes. That's the blanching process. And what the blanching process does is it seals in a beautiful, of course, a beautiful orange color, but it also seals in a bunch of the nutrients and it makes the pumpkin actually a little bit sweeter for freezing. So our pumpkin had blanched for five minutes. It's pretty steamy right now. I popped it into this, a colander into this thing and dumped my pumpkin into the colander. And now I'm just gonna take cold water to cool this down to stop the blanching process. It's going to cool that pumpkin down. There we go. We're going to stop that blanching process. Now, see, it's nice and cool now. I can touch it. But look how great. I mean, it's almost translucent, which is really kind of neat. It's just that it's tender to the touch, just so I can get my fingernail through it. So it's still firm, but tender. And so another benefit of blanching your pumpkin, instead of just cubing it and throwing it straight into freezer bags, is that it actually will keep longer in the freezer if it's been blanched as well. So that is a plus. So now I'm gonna let this cool down and then I'm going to pop it into my freezer bags. So today's adventure ended up with 88 pounds of blanched pumpkin. Isn't that awesome? And that's all free food because Tony put a Facebook a marketplace call out um, to actually to a bunch of Facebook groups just saying, hey, and does anybody have any intact pumpkins left over from Halloween? And this is what we got. So not to mention all the innards and all the stuff we have for our birds as well, which is so cool. And also what's really cool is I, I was really smart this year. I made up little bags with three and a third cups of pumpkin in it because that is what it is for doubling the recipe for our pumpkin muffins. That's the amount of pumpkin I need inside of them. And... Um, also, we didn't do it this year because we had a lot of pumpkin last year, but we also dehydrated a bunch of pumpkin slices for Rezzy, and she loves the crunchiness of that pumpkin for snacks as well. So we're going to use this pumpkin as, oh my gosh, we're going to use it for muffins, soups, stews. We're going to use it as a side dish. We will use it actually in replacement of spaghetti. We will use it for so many things. This is going to last us a full year of pumpkin. So, and from something that's free. So, you know, a lot of people don't know about um, the versatility of pumpkin and how wonderful it is. So guys, this is definitely a great way to get some free food and to have a lot of nutrition to get you through the whole year. That's our pumpkin adventure, guys.